What's up guys, it's Clem from Executive Gaming and today I'm super excited because NVIDIA RTX 3080 is releasing. We now all know its specs, it's faster than the 2080 Ti, it has more CUDA cores, it is now using a Samsung 8 nanometer which may have driven the price down as to TSMC nanometer with a recommended power supply of over 700 watts as it draws power of 320 watts maximum. Its GPU next generation architecture is now called MP. It has a PCIe 4.0, so with knowing all of this, should you get the flagship RTX 3080 or wait till AMD releases their latest GPU 6000 series? Here is the pricing which went live yesterday on the NVIDIA website which includes release date of the 3090 and the 3070. Prices are in Australian dollars. Let me know in the comment below if you are team green or are you team navy. Before answering that question, you may need to look at your current PC and is it efficient enough to run the new GPU? Does your power supply have enough power to run not only the GPU but all your other parts such as memory, SSD, hard drives, fans, lights and many others? Do you need a new motherboard? Upgrading to a motherboard that has a PCIe 4.0 will be more beneficial in being able to use the capabilities of the new RTX 3000 series but it will still run on a PCIe 3.0. Do you need a new CPU and monitor if you want to run 4K resolutions, ray tracing and DLSS? These are just some of the factors that you may come across with upgrading to the new GPU RTX 3000 series. And if you have a 2080 Ti, don't just sell it yet. With so many hype about the new series and the value price, this may sell out and you may be stuck with no GPU. So waiting for a few weeks may be better so that you can find out if it's all worth buying as you may spend loads of money upgrading just to fit the new GPU. But we all know these will sell out fast should you buy the custom or the reference card. Not all custom will be available, but some like MSI have made productions and testings for the new GPU to incorporate for its size and power. There have been leaks showing that AMD's Radeon RX 6900 XT will be between the 3070 and 3080 speed. During the NVIDIA Live event, they talked about the NVIDIA Reflex. Most gamers have latencies far greater than 30 milliseconds, many up to 100 milliseconds. Today we're announcing a new esports technology called NVIDIA Reflex. NVIDIA Reflex optimizes the rendering pipeline across CPU and GPU to reduce latency by up to 50%. In September, we're releasing Reflex with our Game Ready driver. Over 100 million GeForce gamers will instantly become more competitive. Valorant, Fortnite, Apex Legends, Call of Duty Warzone, and Destiny 2 will be the first to integrate Reflex technology. Esports pros and enthusiasts strive for zero latency. For you, we're announcing an insanely fast and beautiful display, a 360 Hz G-Sync display designed for esports. This display has a built-in precision latency analyzer. Just connect your mouse. The NVIDIA 360 Hz G-Sync esports displays are arriving this fall from Acer, Alienware, Asus, and MSI. We've made a video comparing gaming on a 60 Hz, 144 Hz, and 360 Hz display. You can see immediately how 360 Hz display will help you target and track an opponent. For the 20 million live streamers, we have something really cool for you. NVIDIA Broadcast turns any room into a broadcast studio. NVIDIA Broadcast runs AI algorithms trained by deep learning on NVIDIA. What DJI I was excited about is the, the new the NVIDIA effects broadcast. Like Here is what virtual it's all about. Effects, whether graphics or video. And webcam auto framing is a virtual camera person tracking you. 
These AI effects are amazing. Available for download in September and runs on any RTX GPU. Brandon and GeForce Marketing will now show you NVIDIA Broadcast. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon and I'm very excited today to talk to you about our NVIDIA Broadcast app. Like many of you, I've been home a lot more lately. I've been video conferencing all day and then gaming and streaming all night. And I have a very basic webcam and microphone setup. NVIDIA Broadcast makes these things supercharged with a lot of new awesome features that really bring it out using the power of AI and RTX GPUs. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is noise removal. So I've asked my girlfriend to join me with a blow dryer here. And that distracting sound makes it very hard to understand what I'm saying. But when I turn on noise removal in NVIDIA Broadcast, you find that it's completely gone and that, that, that blow dryer is still going. But NVIDIA Broadcast isn't just awesome audio features. There's some really exciting video features as well. Let's take a look. First up, we have the ability to blur your background, which you may notice that I need because I have a very cluttered and messy room. But when I turn this background blur feature on, all of a sudden I get this really classy effect and I can adjust the strength of that from low to high and everything in between. Or if I want, I can actually replace the background altogether. Now I'm in a space station with the magic of AI. <laughs> it's that easy. Or if I wanna jump into some gameplay, I can remove the background altogether and jump into some Valorant. And now I'm playing with a green screen effect without actually having to have one at home. I don't have to play good, but at least I can look good. For some our time. Computers that learn from data and write software that no humans can. The advances are nothing short of breathtaking. NVIDIA is doing groundbreaking work in this area. You might have seen our work in self-driving cars and robotics. Computer graphics and gaming will also be revolutionized by deep learning. Let me show you some recent works and the art of the possible. The first video is a generative adversarial network. I was so was amazed about the magic of, of deep any learning. Artistic genre, including photorealistic. Gaming has come a long way Second, from a Atari to this. DLSS 2.0 looks very it's dangerous promising. To go alone. Be from video. Imagine the possibilities. Record video, interact in 3D. AI is starting to play a giant role in the future of computer graphics and gaming. The powerful tensor cores and RTX GPUs will let us do AI in real time. One of the first major AI computer graphics breakthroughs is DLSS. Here's the challenge. Real-time ray tracing is far more beautiful but requires a lot more computation per pixel than rasterization. I cannot wait till I experience the ray tracing. With NVIDIA RTX IO, vast worlds will load instantly. Picking up where you left off will be instant. This is a very big deal for next generation gaming. Let me show you Ampere in action in one of the most anticipated games of 2020, CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk. This trailer is called Scenes of Cyberpunk RTX. It shows ray trace reflections, diffuse illumination, shadows, ambient occlusion, and DLSS 2.0. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, our new flagship GPU, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, powered by Ampere, second generation RTX architecture.
Here is a preview of the airflow for the new reference card. The NVIDIA RTX 3080. It is beautiful. Look at this. The RTX 3080. It is wonderfully crafted. It's going to look beautiful in your PC. And it lights up. Now let me tell you about some of the other exciting technologies inside. Turing used G6, the fastest memories at that time. The industry thought that was the limit. For Ampere, we had to push through that limit. Working with Micron, we designed the world's first memories with PAM4 signaling, pulse amplitude modulation, with four voltage levels that encode two bits of data each, 00011011. Each voltage step is only 250 millivolts. So in the same period of time, G6X can transmit twice as much data as G6. PAM4 is extreme signaling technology, and it's just becoming used in high-speed networking. The Ampere thermal architecture is the first ever flow-through design, working harmoniously with PC chassis cooling system, pulling in cool air from the outside, flowing through the GPU, and pushing hot air straight out the chassis. To allow room for a fan to flow air directly through the module, our engineers architect a super dense PCB design that is 50% smaller than previous, while adding the bigger Ampere GPUs, HDMI 2.1, PCI Express 4.0, and G6X. There are two independently controlled fans. The bracket front fan pulls cool air from the bottom and pushes the heated air out through the graphics card brackets. A backside pull through fan passes cool air over the fins of the heat pipe and directs the hot air to the top and back of the chassis to be exhausted by the system fan. The 3080 flow through system is three times quieter and keeps the GPU 20 degrees cooler than the Turing design. It can cool 90 watts more than Turing. The generational leap is ultimately the most important thing. So we double down on the difference on between Pascal twice the shader, and Ampere. Twice the ray tracing and twice the tensor core. The triple double. Ampere knocks the daylights out of Pascal on ray tracing. And even with ray tracing on, crushes Pascal on frame rate. To all my Pascal gamer friends, it is safe to upgrade now. And for all the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gamers, RTX will be on. Shadows and Ambient Occlusion, DLSS 2.0, and NVIDIA Reflex Super Low Latency Technology. The last Call of Duty sold an amazing 30 million copies. Activision put together this trailer of never before seen footage. Enjoy. This will be definitely awesome with the ray tracing. Let me, 3090. The RTX 3090 is just on another level. They also got some gamers to try the 8K on this big screen. They were super excited about it. 3090 is a beast. A ferocious GPU. A BF GPU. 36 shader teraflops. 69 RT teraflops. 285 tensor teraflops. And it comes with a massive 24 gigabytes of G6X. It comes with a silencer. A he also explains that this button. GPU is capable of wider, any work or GPU hard play. It's cooler than the Titan RTX design. But there's more. The 3090 is so big that for the very first time, we can play games at 60 frames per second in 8K. This is insane. Because it's impossible for us to show you what it looks like on the stream, we invited some friends to check it out. Roll the clip. Hi. 
I've never been more excited to do anything. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No way. This is f***ing incredible, dude. This is amazing. Holy. The resolution not It's so detailed. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. Move fast and shoot things. This is 8K, sir. I can see everything. Oh, I need to shoot you, though. Not a whole lot of people have seen something like this. This is so realistic. I feel I'm like just I'm super really excited battle. to what's to this come throughout this week. I want to look at the pretty things. What do you guys think the, the of the RTX 3000, 3000 series? Are, are you going to buy it? Or are you going to wait like, till AMD like release but, uh, their 6000 <laughs> series? <laughs> Comment below and let me know what you think. If you like this video and you think it was helpful, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. This is Clem from Executive Gaming. Peace out.